Hello everyone, welcome back again. Let us start the summary video of chapter number 12, Light, Shadow and Reflection. Light, that means it is a form of electromagnetic radiation that enables the human eye to see or make things visible. Light is essential for all the living organism. As we know, it gives us energy and it gives energy for animals and plants also. Without light, photosynthesis cannot take place. As a result, all the food chains as well as the supply of oxygen in the air can disturb. Now, sources of light. The object which can emit light, we call them sources of light. The sources of light can be natural or it can be man-made. Similarly, the object which can emit light by their own, we call them luminous objects and the object which cannot emit their own light, we call them non-luminous objects. Example, the sun, bulb are the luminous objects and the earth and table are the non-luminous objects. Now, the substance which can pass through the light properly, we call them medium of light. There are three types of medium, transparent, translucent and opaque. Transparent means the object can pass the light properly. Example, air. Translucent means the object can pass the light partially. Example, butter paper. And opaque materials means the object which cannot pass the light. That's called opaque materials. Example, wood. Now come to the next topic of this chapter that is shadow. Shadow, what do you mean by this shadow? A dark patch obtained on the screen by an opaque object when it is placed in the path of source of light that's called shadow. Depend on the nature of shadow, we can divide a shadow in two parts. First part, ambra means darkest central part of the shadow and second one is penumbra which is the side layer of ambra and this is the faint color of the shadow. Now eclipse which is the natural examples of shadow. So eclipse where the sun the earth and the moon will come in one straight line that time we can see the eclipse depend on the positions of the earth and the moon there are two types of eclipse solar eclipse and lunar eclipse solar eclipse when the sun the moon and the earth will come in straight line and the moon will cast its shadow over the earth. This natural phenomenon we call solar eclipse. Lunar eclipse when the sun, the earth and the moon will come in a straight line and the earth will cast its shadow on the moon. This natural phenomenon we call lunar eclipse. Come to the last part of this chapter that is reflection. Children, did you notice when you are standing in front of mirror, what you can see? Yes, you can see your own image over the mirror. That's called reflections. Now let us check the definitions of reflection. A ray of light approaches a smooth polished surface and light ray become bounce back this we call reflection of light now already we have discussed in the class the difference between shadow and an image so children 
please practice the chapter properly stay safe keep learning